The 95-year-old is set to become the first British monarch to mark 70 years on the throne next June. Buckingham Palace has already confirmed a series of extravagant events for the royal family and members of the public during a bumper four-day bank holiday weekend from June 2 to 5, 2022. Details of the historical occasion were announced in June 12 months in advance, and before the Queen recently pulled out of a number of engagements on health grounds. Former Royal Butler Grant Harold has said he expects the plans for the Platinum Jubilee to go ahead as scheduled next year. He told Express.co.uk, I think it is appropriate to continue as normal, be the Queen in good health or bad. It would be difficult to say if celebration would be scaled back if the Queen was not in 100% healthy but only time will tell. I am sure the original plans for the celebration will be seen through in some form or another. In October, the Queen was taken to hospital for tests and stayed overnight for the first time in eight years. Buckingham Palace said Her Majesty was discharged the following day and was in good spirits. The Queen was forced to cancel a two-day visit to Northern Ireland and then underwent a period of rest. Earlier this month, the Queen did not travel to Scotland for the COP26 summit, and pulled out from attending the Remembrance Sunday service in Westminster following a back injury. The Queen has since returned to light duties and conducted a series of in-person and virtual audiences this week. The Platinum Jubilee celebrations will begin on Thursday, June 2nd, with a trooping the colour parade in central London. Over 1,00 soldiers, 200 horses and 00 musicians are set to be involved, with the Queen watching on from the balcony at Buckingham Palace. On Friday, a service of thanksgiving will be held at St. Paul's Cathedral. On Saturday, June, the Queen is scheduled to join other member of the royal family for the derby at Epsom Downs. In the evening, Buckingham Palace will host a live concert featuring artists from around the world. On the final official day of celebrations, a pageant featuring over 5,000 people will take place on the streets around Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace added the Queen and members of the royal family are planning variety of other engagements throughout the UK, but full details are yet to be finalised. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, said the schedule will be tailored around the Queen, with other members of the family given additional responsibilities. He said, the Platinum Jubilee program will reflect her age, although the palace won't say as much, and other people will be doing engagements on her behalf. We know she won't go to the Commonwealth or do any tours, but how much she does in the UK will be interesting to see.